Hey guys, Jerome here. What's going on? Are you still debating on a new phone? Have you narrowed it down to the Nexus 5X, the Nexus 6P, or the Moto X Pure Edition? Well, I'm here to break it down for you. If price is your biggest concern, then the Nexus 5X and the Moto X Pure Edition are your two options. At 16 gigs of internal storage, the Nexus 5X can be had for $379, while the Moto X Pure Edition, also at 16 gigs, runs at $399.99. Now, if price and a small form factor are your biggest needs, then the Nexus 5X is the way to go. The Nexus 5X has a 5.2 inch display compared to the Moto X Pure Edition and Nexus 6P's 5.7 inch display. On the other hand, if price and a bigger display are more important to you, then the Moto X Pure Edition is the way to go, again at a 5.7 inch display. Now, I feel the best way to compare these three phones is to look at the 32 gig version. The Nexus 5X is $429, the Moto X Pure Edition is $449.99, and the Nexus 6P is $499. Again, all these three phones at these prices are the 32 gig version. The Nexus 5X is a 5.2 inch LCD 1080p display pushing 423 pixels per inch using Gorilla Glass 3. The Moto X Pure Edition and the Nexus 6P both have 5.7 inch 1440p resolution displays. The Moto X Pure Edition pushes 520 pixels per inch versus Nexus 6P's 518 pixels per inch. That's not really much of a difference there. The Moto X Pure Edition has an LCD display using Gorilla Glass 3, while the Nexus 6P uses an AMOLED display using Gorilla Glass 4. The Nexus 5X and the Moto X Pure Edition are both running Snapdragon 808 processors with an Adreno 418 GPU. The Nexus 6P is using Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 810 processor, uh, version 2.1, using an Adreno 430 GPU. The Nexus 5X has 2 gigs of DDR3 RAM, while the Moto X Pure Edition and the Nexus 6P both have 3 gigs of RAM. However, the Moto X Pure Edition is using DDR3, while the Nexus 6P is using DDR4. On paper, the Nexus 6P is the best of the three performance-wise, with the latest processor, GPU, and the newest version of RAM. The Nexus 5X has the smallest battery capacity of the three phones, at 2700 mAh. The Moto X Pure Edition has a 3000 mAh battery, while the Nexus 6P has a 3450 mAh battery. Now, even though the Nexus 5X has the smallest battery of the three phones, you have to remember that it has a smaller display and runs at a lesser resolution of 1080p. All three phones are capable of fast charging. Now, the only phone that is available right now is the Moto X Pure Edition, and from a 0 to 100% charge, I was able to get my Moto X at an hour and 19 minutes. I would imagine the Nexus 5X would also charge from 0% to 100% in probably an hour and a half, and the Nexus 6P is rated to do a full charge from 0 to 100% at about an hour and 40 minutes, maybe an hour and 45 minutes. But I guess we'll see when it really comes in. The Nexus 5X and the Nexus 6P share the same rear camera sensor. Both of these phones run 12.3 megapixels, while the Moto X Pure Edition has a 21 megapixel camera. All three phones have an f2 aperture, but the Nexus phones have more micron pixels, 1.55 versus Moto X Pure Edition's 1.1. More micron pixels means better low light pictures. Both the Nexus 5X and the Nexus 6P have laser autofocus, while the Moto X Pure does not. Unfortunately, all three phones don't have optical image stabilization. All three phones are capable of 1080p and 4K video recording. All three phones are capable of capturing slow motion video, and while the Nexus 5X and the Moto X Pure Edition do it at 720p at 120 frames per second, the Nexus 6P can record slow motion at 720p at 240 frames per second. I believe that means smoother slow motion video. I guess we'll see. As far as the front camera goes, the Nexus 5X and the Moto X Pure Edition both have 5 megapixel front facing cameras, but the Nexus 6P has an 8 megapixel front facing camera. Now remember, regardless of a rear camera or a front camera, just because a phone says that it has more megapixels doesn't always mean that it's going to be the better picture or have the best quality. Now here's something that I learned a few days ago. The Moto X Pure Edition and the Nexus 6P both have front facing stereo speakers. Uh, on my Moto X here, you can see I have two speaker grills. 
um, one on the top, one on the bottom, and these are both stereo speakers. I found out a few days ago that the Nexus 5X does not have front-facing stereo speakers. It only has one front-facing speaker, so keep that in mind. Okay, let's go over features. The Nexus 5X and the Nexus 6P both have fingerprint readers, which is great for unlocking your phone instead of putting a pin in or a pattern or anything like that. Both Nexus phones have USB Type-C connectors as opposed to Moto X's micro USB connector. The good thing about USB Type-C connectors is that the connector is reversible. So at night, if you're trying to plug it in blindly, it doesn't matter which way it goes in, it's reversible. The Nexus 5X and the Nexus 6P also have an RGB LED notification light, uh, which means there's a little light on the front of the phone that blinks when you get a new notification and you can actually change the color. Red, blue, green, uh, there's a ton that you can pick from. The Moto X does not have this. Nexus phones will also come with Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Nexus phones will always get updates first before any other phones that are out there. Now here's what separates the Moto X from the Nexus phones. The Moto X has an SD card slot, so you can put up to 128 gigs of expandable storage. If storage is important for you, you definitely need to take a look at the Moto X. The Moto X also has IR sensors on the front of the phone, which makes it handy to check notifications without having to pick up your phone and unlock it. The Moto X also has handy gestures to turn the camera on by twisting your phone twice to turn it on, and also the feature to turn on the flashlight by chopping twice really quick and then chopping twice again to turn the flashlight off. Lastly, the Moto X is fully customizable. You can change the color of the front of your phone, the back of your phone, and the trim of your phone, and it kind of gives a more personalized feel for the device you're getting. Now let's break down price and storage capacity for all three of these phones. At 16 gigs of internal storage, only the Nexus 5X and Moto X Pure Edition have that available. The Nexus 5X you can get for 16 gigs of storage for $379, while the Moto X Pure Edition can be had at $399.99. For 32 gigs, you can get all three phones at 32 gigs. For the Nexus 5X, that'll be $429, the Moto X Pure Edition is $449.99, and the Nexus 6P is $499. As far as 64 gigs of internal storage, only the Moto X Pure Edition and 6P offer these options. The Moto X Pure Edition at 64 gigs can be had at $499.99, while the Nexus 6P is $549. And there is a 128 gigabyte option, but only for the Nexus 6P, and that is at 649. All three phones are great. I'm currently using a Moto X Pure Edition, and I love it. When my Nexus 6P comes in, it's going to be a tough decision to look over both of these phones and see which one I'm going to use as my primary. If I end up picking the Nexus 6P over the Moto X Pure Edition, I am going to lose a micro SD card, I'm going to lose the IR sensors, and I'm going to lose those quick gestures to turn on the camera and to turn on my flashlight. I'm going to miss those a lot, but on the 6P I would probably also pick up a fingerprint reader, a USB Type-C connector, and probably a better battery, a better camera. So. At the end of the day, you guys need to figure out what's best for you. It's too bad that we can't just put all the internals and put them together, but these are our options. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to um, post them below and I will get back to you. So until the next one, guys, take it easy. Later.